Hey everybody, Tim Keneally here with a Sprint Overdrive 4G Wi-Fi hotspot in my hands. That Sprint has been advertising as the device that can turn the iPad and the iPhone into 4G. So what I'm going to do is take that and connect it to a Sony Clie from 2002 and make that a 4G device with the Pega 110 Wi-Fi adapter that I won on eBay for entirely too much money. So what we're going to do is pull up the connection manager. Wow, that is blurry. I'll fix that. All right, there we go. Going to click on the mobile manager and select my hotspot there. Now, see, I'm not connected. This uh, software is really like going back and using it. It's just it sucks. Like you have to connect your CLIA to your desktop computer and. Um, you know, via USB, which is ugly and, and messed up. And then you, uh, on the desktop connection manager, you set up all your hotspots and then sync them down to your machine. You actually can't add hotspots on the CLIA. You have to do it on your desktop, which is so annoying. So, as you can see, we are connected now to... Actually, I didn't record the audio there, but um, it made a beeping noise because it connected and went doo -doo -doo, or whatever. So what we're going to do is go to a browser which I downloaded the other day just randomly. I don't really know anything about these old you know Palm OS 5 browsers. Xeno and Twitter. The only site that I've gotten to work in this browser. Um, that, that's not to say I haven't connected to other sites. I mean, it connects, but it doesn't really render them. They just show up as garbled nonsense. So look at that. Featured tweets for today. There are plenty of errors on the site, but I mean, it's still very usable for, I mean, a device from 2002, browser from 2003, connecting in 2010. Hey, not bad. Um, just to get into this a little deeper, we're going to click on someone's profiles just randomly. Harvard Business Review, nobody can argue with that. Unless you're from Princeton. No, just kidding. So, uh, yeah, I can't type in my username or password. I mean, I can, but it doesn't connect. It just sort of hangs and doesn't do anything. Join today. Well, I, I think I will. No, no. So, yeah. Tweets show up in a numbered list with links which I'm sure will crash if I click on them but it's still cool to have them there um, following list shows up as images which is cool um, so yeah let's go to another site just to show you what actually happens most of the time when I'm using this and d keep in mind this is not the fault of uh, you know the the hardware that I'm using it's just it's the browser is so old and I haven't bothered to really look at all the other browsers available. Facebook, by the way, didn't work. We're going to go to TechMeme, which is a great news aggregator for tech news that I use every day. Um, so typing that in. I also, by the way, tried to use graffiti. Got most of the alphabet I remembered, except Y, the letter Y. I still, for the life of me, can't remember what the hell it is. So I was just like, forget this. I'm going to use a virtual keyboard. There you go. That's what most sites actually look like in this browser. I don't know why Twitter works, and I haven't found any other sites that do. Um, admittedly, since this is a Saturday night, Yahoo, this is what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I haven't sunk a great deal of effort into, you know, improving this, but I, I, I think it's pretty cool that we got a 4G Sony Clie NX70V via the Sprint Overdrive which I'm sure will bring me hours of fun later on. Thanks.